Hello everyone, Chief Meteorologist Brian Hale. The threat of strong thunderstorms, severe weather, will continue for the overnight for the Rio Grande Valley. As we push from the evening hours through the overnight hours, the opportunity for strong thunderstorms able to produce heavy downpours, frequent lightning, strong gusty winds, and hail will continue to gobble up the Rio Grande Valley. And again, that's for your overnight forecast. We still have the upper level low pressure over New Mexico as a major player, providing an environment for shower and thunderstorm development across Texas as far south as the valley. We still have the southern branch of the jet stream plowing across the valley, adding upper level support for storm development. So we have to say the chance for strong thunderstorms, potentially severe weather overnight, and again on Saturday, still there in the forecast, could see some quarter size hail, 60 to 70 mile an hour winds, lots of lightning, and with some of the soaked soil around the valley, we could see the flash flooding potential ramp up as well. Now, Futurecast continues the opportunity for showers and thunderstorms overnight, and again, some of those could pop severe, so we'll keep you updated on that throughout the overnight. Into Saturday, we could see some dry air slip on into the forecast and shut down all the potential for severe weather, so we'll just be left with the uh, well, widely scattered uh, shower and thunderstorm routine for Saturday. So we'll have to update you as we get on through the night and in closer to Saturday morning for that. Otherwise, expect far less of an opportunity for rain on Sunday. That's a good thing. We'll just pare it down each day. But I've got news for you for Monday. Stand by. Uh, Storm Prediction Center still indicating that overnight we do have a uh, better, than, better than slim chance at some uh, severe weather across deep south Texas. And that runs into Saturday. But again, it's all dependent on some of that dry air coming on in and shutting everything down. So Saturday is going to be a toss of the coin right now. Sunday, less so in terms of a chance for rain and thunderstorms. Monday, we have a frontal boundary. Get this, a significant, by my book, cold front moving on into the valley, and that will generate showers and thunderstorms and sort of stall out in our neighborhood, keeping the opportunity for thunderstorms in on Tuesday, and then it kind of heads back north as a warm front. We're left with a diminishing chance for rain Wednesday and Thursday. It's about time. That's a look at your storm tracker for forecast.